variety in bhagwan's teaching by kunjus swami sri bhagwan's detailed explanations of self inquiry do not mean that his emphasis on this method was absolute or dogmatic sri kunjus swami relates how the maharishi gave all methods the due place citing concrete instances sri bhagwan's presence and teachings gave hope and strength to different classes of seekers at different levels thus the teachings were not limited to those who took to pure inquiry as is sometimes assumed bhagwan as the gnani was on a level higher than that of a spiritual master and therefore it followed that whatever one's path one received help and guidance no attempt at changing one's approach was needed an important teaching of his was that intensity of practice and one pointedness on any path will be fruitful stotra japa dhyana and vichara are ascending stages of sadhana while confirming this bhagavan was also clear that this did not mean that all stages were necessarily to be gone through by all certainly there were exceptions as for example in the case of the four great tamil saints who signed the price of lord shiva with them it was an achievement of akandakara vritti unbroken experience of awareness brought about by constant remembrance of the name never was there a moment when i did not think of you in that achievement where was the need for vichara its result was already there dandapani swami once pleaded with shri bhagwan to give him some upadesha it was a shivaratri day the devotee affirmed he had no practice to his credit but bhagwan persistently asked him whether he had not done any little practice of any kind at last the fact emerged that he used to write the ramakoti a crore of ramanama shri bhagwan instructed him to do it more and more one doubt that often assails people relates to the relative superiority of mantras shri bhagwan explained that the choice of a particular mantra purely depended upon one's samskara there is no superiority or inferiority in the mantras themselves in the choice of the mantra as in other things it was characteristic of shri bhagwan to encourage one in a path already chosen so that it acted like a lever resulting in more progress in olden days when we had the benefit of receiving personal instructions from shri bhagwan one of them was to get into meditation before going to sleep thus sleep overtook one as a natural consequence of fatigue and was not induced or preceded by lying down also the first thing in the morning immediately on getting up from bed one was to go into meditation then the state of mind immediately before sleep would be resumed on waking this would ensure a serenity of mind and also a feeling of tirelessness throughout the day parayana recitation japa dhyana and vichara usually represent different modes of sadhana but it may not be possible for a sadhaka to be engaged in any one of these continuously so shri bhagwan's advice was to alternately try all the four to ensure continued sadhana which would be otherwise impossible thus if one tires of dhyana 
one can do japa following it up with parayana and so on my practice was to recite shlokas on my walk to skandashramam in the morning one day bhagwan happened to see me and asked what i was doing when i told him about my parayana he encouraged it and said it was a good way to simultaneously go through one's routine and also do something towards controlling the mind sri bhagwan stressed the importance of developing good tendencies likening it to sowing a ripe seed a ripe seed thrown carelessly on rocky soil will sprout and grow be it even after a thousand years it will never go to waste likewise good tendencies asked on one occasion how it could be that self knowledge is easy the easiest thing there is referring to bhagwan's poem self knowledge while others said it was the most difficult thing there was and whether the individual could get it so easily and unaided bhagwan seemed to sympathize and pointed out the words grace is needed most in the same poem he said that this was the key to understanding the poem sourced from the mountain path january 1972